to Reading with Ro, back again. Well, I'm Ro and I like to read. So again, we've got another book that I want to share with you, one of my favourites, and it's called Picasso, the Green Tree Frog. You might find a green tree frog in your backyard. They're everywhere in Australia. We have to protect them though, don't we? We have to make sure that we keep all of our lovely environments ready, really nice and fresh and care for our green tree frogs. This book was written by Amanda Graham and the illustrations are by John C.O. Let's get started. Picasso was a very clever green tree frog. He could jump anywhere and change colors. He could jump from here to there and there to here and back again. Let's have a look. Can you see what he's chasing? Frogs love to munch on. Picasso could plop into a muddy puddle and turn mm -hmm, brown. Oh, that looks amazing. There he goes. He's brown. He could dive into a deep, cool pool and turn, you're right, blue. Oh, look at that. He looks quite happy, doesn't he? Jump, dragonfly. And bounce back up into his tree and turn green again. Oh, he looks a bit exhausted, all that jumping. Can you see what's happening in the corner of the page? Someone's eating jellyfish. I wonder what's going to happen now. But one day, mm, something went wrong. I wonder what it's going to be. Let's turn the page and find out. Picasso landed into a jar of jelly beans. And look at that. He turned all sorts of colours. Oh my goodness me. He looks quite pretty though, doesn't he? All the different colours of the rainbow. And he quite enjoyed being multicoloured for a while. Look at him going, oh, aren't I beautiful? But when he bounced back up to his tree again, uh-oh, he did not turn green. Oh dear. Frogs like to change colours because they like to be invisible. They like to go into the habitat and no one can find them. He slipped into the cool pool. <gasps> Has he turned blue? No. Has he turned green? No. Does he look happy? No. He is not happy. He wallowed into the watery reeds and weeds, but he still did not turn green. There was no way it seemed to become green again. Oh dear. Frogs like to stay camouflaged. It keeps them protected. Picasso jumped back into the jelly bean jar. <sighs> and he sampled a nut, a jelly bean, a pink jelly bean. And he thought about what am I going to do next? And as he ate another pink jelly bean, something strange happened. What do you think has happened to Picasso after he, he ate a pink jelly bean? His pink spots disappeared. Picasso ate more jelly beans. Blue, red, yellow, purple, every colour except green. Every colour he ate. Whoa, that's a lot of jelly beans. Mm, I don't think we'd be able to have that many jelly beans. Too much sugar. At last, he was himself again. A green tree frog. Mm. Or was he? Picasso has... 
do you think that's going to go? I hope so. Because green tree frogs are very delicate. They need to be in environments that look after them. Thank you so much for reading with me. I really love this book. Not because it's just lots of colour and fun. But it also talks about our, all the creatures in our environment. So we need to be careful to make sure that our environment stay clean and healthy for our green tree frogs. Now, these are, one of my, these are some of my favourite books. But if you have any favourite books you want me to read with you, pop it into the comments box. Maybe get one of your um, grown-up people to help you. Because I love to read. And join me anytime. Thanks. Bye.